Hello heroes, Kelton of the Heroes and Legends, and welcome back to the RPG Corner. It's time for another adventurous episode in the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. We have a the finale of the dungeon for you here. The old school house, level three. I know that going into this room, actually, well, just go into it. It's the save point before the boss, so we're not sure what boss we're facing. We'll see what's up. I did some grinding between episode and last. You know what? I'm starting to get really, really tired of the grind. And I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. We'll see. There are some DLC that might speed up my leveling. Because I just want to experience the story. But we'll see. They're not. It's not... It's DLC that lets you summon creatures that you can fight that give lots of experience. So you're still fighting for the experience, you just have to do less of it. I've been grinding for about four hours. I've got a lot of the characters pretty close in level. So we're gonna see where we go from here. Anyways, let's hit up the rest the rest of Magoo. And then let's uh, I guess Modify a weapon. Sorry. Customize a weapon. Rogato. I don't have a Koganitsamaru. I can get the Grey Needler, which I don't need right now. Dang it, man. So I don't think. <coughs> I guess we'll just. Fill out some slots. Orbment. Arts. Ports. He's got filled. She's got an open slot. Or he's got an open slot. We give him hit plus one. We give him plus 50 accuracy. 50% plus accuracy. She attacked David HP tear aqua bleed tira move two that gives her more movement. She gets 17 move if I do that. I mean she can attack further. Give her luck. I don't need the dropping of a battle. Let's give her move two. Now she can like dash across the field with her gigantic sword because she's crazy. No slots for you. You have a blue slot. Let's give you Tira. Oh, look at you! That gives you more health. You got a, you've got a green slot. Bunch of evade, blind, airstrike, hair. We're gonna give you. Oh wait, is there more green? Breeze. Yeah, we'll give you evade one, so you can evade. I think those are the only people that are currently alive in the party with me. All right, rest again because Elliot gained some health and I have to fill that health bar up. And then we go fight the boss. Should save it. Turbo mode. Oh, be a second here. Oops, let's fix some things. All right. Oh, nope, not you. Go. Oh, might as well pick a rain. Ah, go. Let's see what we're up against. Whoa, what the shit is that? Some kind of hell demon. <coughs> And there's three of them. Go. Well, let's see. Strength plus 25. Yeah, I gotta motivate the team. All right, let's do this. Let's go. To me. My turn. Let's go with some cleavage. No armor break. Let's focus on the left pit demon. Shatter. Hit him. Oh, nice. Oh. 
And you got countered, fool. What? Okay, this My turn. is not good. What do you do? Okay. The noble command raises the morale of allies within it. So you get strength, arts, and speed. Does he have a... He does. Alright, so... After Alyssa's attack... Gotta use Blessed Arrow to heal these two. Hang in there. <laughs> you have my I suppose face. I should thank you. She's my healer. Get God damn it. I forgot to use Crystal Saber can be used on one guy. <sighs> After the heal to use uh You're in the shoot. Crystal Saber Oh not enough to kill it. Go Okay, after his attack we'll use her attack. Huh. One down. hit with it this one or this one this one this one we're going to hit this one your most powerful strike flame slash it let's just get just finish it off let's just make it just one thing What did she do? I did she it. just protect? <gasps> she did. We need to heal them all up. Hang in there. You have my face. I suppose I should thank you. Oh boy. I'll handle this. You can do noble commands. No, what you need to do is attack. Now. Rush it. Get that rush in there. Doesn't seem like a very good rush ability. That was awesome. I can do this. That was a good link ability. Okay. Oh, you're gonna use the busted arrow again. Can I hit him too? No, we're gonna use it on these guys. Hang in there. <coughs> you hack my face. My turn. Armor Shut break. Her. Very well. Let's use noble command. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave it. Leave it to me. Everybody, strength up again. My turn. And you're gonna use autumn leaf cutter on there. you. Go. I've got you. Oh no, you don't. Oh, what did this do? Oh, nice. A counter kill. Aha! We did it, ladies and germs. 
We're I'll prepared for the best. Recording's going good. Some new material. We need to find out how to farm that stuff. Well, we won. So that was the master of this floor. I must say it posed quite the challenge. And you fought monsters like that every time you ventured in here. Yeah, every time we reach the end of a floor, a beast shows up just like that. Is something bothering you, Reen? Oh, I just think I might have worked out something about this place. It looks like we've explored as far as we can go for now, so let's head back outside. I'll tell you more then. Exploration party's bonds have been strengthened. Oh, yeah. Level 3. Auto tier and cover. <coughs> Seems to be it. And this is where you use the telepotato. The telepotato. Take me to the beginning. And entrance. Elevator. Return to the surface. Seems to be three more floors. I wonder if there's one. That means there's three. Maybe I'm halfway done with the game. That'd be cool. Get some more story going. End investigation. Sunset already, huh? We must have been down there a long time this month, too. Thanks for your help today, everyone. There's no way I could have cleared that place out on my own. No shit. Don't mention it. So what was that aha moment you had back there? Well, I think the old schoolhouse actually follows certain rules. Rules? Well, think about this. The first rule would be that there's always a door at the entrance to every floor. The second is that there's always a really tough monster waiting at the end. The third rule is that each month a new floor opens up for us to explore. Those all seem to have been the case every time now that I think about it. Kind of makes me feel like someone is testing us. A test? I guess when I stop and think about it, it does kind of feel that way. But even assuming that's true, who is it and why? It's the principal! He's training us for something greater. Appears we have no choice but to continue these investigative excursions if we hope to find any answers. Yeah, it seems that way. Either way, we've gone as far in as we can go today. Let's meet up again next time. Next time on Old Schoolhouse Mystery. Episode 4 Gladiator Headband One additional bonding point Ooh And I can use that on who? Either Emma Or Gaius My man Gaius It's gotta be on Why is he in the church? He's like I'm just chilling at the church Dog Alright, so we gotta go to the front gate to get to that Gaius. Uh, okay. What are you guys up to? Be careful on the way home, okay? Right. Sure that I'm a cool guy. She, she likes her. He's got a crush. Fancy meeting you here, Green. Well, I just planned on finding you because I gotta bump up that link. Hey there, guys. Did you come to pray? Yeah, the sun's starting to set, so I figured I'd come along and give my thanks for another fulfilling day. Well, you're pretty pious, guys. Pious guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Thinking back, we first met here on the day of the entrance ceremony, too. So we did. Hard to believe it's already been almost two months since then. Should I join him in prayer? Sure. Mind if I join you? I have some things I need to pray for. You're always welcome. Let us pray. We and guys remain silent as they offer their prayers. That should do. 
This reminds me, actually. You're from the Nord Highlands, aren't you? It's so far away from here, but you still revere Adios, don't you? Of course. It's said that Emperor Dracos himself appealed to the church once the War of the Lions came to a close. Because of that, even now, a traveling priest visits regularly to hold classes, kind of like your Sunday school here. Ah, but we also revere the winds that blow through the highlands just as much as we do the goddess herself. This has been a tradition passed down by our ancestors ever since they first set foot in the highlands. The winds and the goddess? That would mean you hold Sunday school out among the fields? You're honestly not too far off. Most of our classes are held outside. I learned a lot from the traveling priest who was there when I was younger. When he taught me back that what he taught me back then even shaped who I am now. Wow. Maybe people really do meet because they're destined to do so. I've come to appreciate that idea much more than ever since I arrived at Thor's. Meeting you and the rest of your classmates is among the most meaningful events of my life so far. Haha, <laughs> I'm amazed you can say stuff like that with a straight face. Oh come on, what do you who do you think I can get I get that from? You mean you can't mean me. Just take a moment to think about some of the stuff you've told us. As cheesy as you can get though, I think that's one of your good points. Maybe you should cut down on the heartfelt speeches from now on. Your bond with Gaia is strengthened. Yeah! Level 3! Cover and counter attack. Nice. Alright. Evening. There's gotta be a... Oh, you know what? I should have went back in there. I gotta talk to everybody. It's hidden quest time. Between your studies and helping with the story, you've been working very hard. Don't push yourself too far, though. Please take care of your on your way home. Let's start from the school. La escuela. La escuela. All right, we'll go around. What do we got? There's a person there. There's a person there. Some people there. Let's go. Let's talk to them all. One of them is going to have a quest, I hope. Hey, what you guys up to? What's with that girl? Why would she be chasing me around like this? How am I supposed to know? More importantly, why are you getting me involved? We studied for our midterms together, right? That's a bond stronger than blood. Please help me out here. I'm not even gonna ask. This is interesting. I kind of wish I had a... Damn, I wish I had a bonding point. I wonder if this is like a moment. This is why I can't stand upper class students. Well, let's see. Is there a girl over here? Oh, that girl. Oh no, it's her. My darling Vincent seems to escape my sight. I happened among a most charming and intelligent gentleman while I was hunting him down though. Ooh, there are just too many darlings in this academy. How's a girl supposed to know what a flavor she wants? <laughs> Holy shit. Sam. You old dog, you. Just a, he just got all the ladies fawning. Come on, Lambert's waiting inside. Get a move on. And I hope you're in teaching mood because I've got plenty of horse care questions to ask you. What a nuisance. Regnance alone is bother enough, but now I'm chained to the likes of you. Want to try rephrasing that? Instructing beginners is such a bother. Fine, I suppose I can teach her the basics at the very least. You do that. You teach her the horse riding. I believe in you. What's going on her? Bridget. You seem awfully tired, Alan. What's wrong? I was hoping we could finally spend some time together today, but it might be better if you get some rest. But here, let me just escort you back to the do- Why don't you just leave me alone? This has nothing to do with you. Whoa. Excuse me, what did I do to deserve you yelling at me? What a dick, dude. It's none of your business, so just leave me alone. Wow, Alan, you're an asshole. Bridge is just trying. If I did something to make you mad, then you could at least tell me. It's none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh boy. Bridget's just being nice, you know. She's a noble. She's never to talk to you. But she is because she likes you. And then you're just like, I don't want to deal with her. You know, most uh, people get super like, hey. Oh. Found the quest. Aren't you from class five? Yeah, my name is Monk. God, that's a stupid spelling for in the name. You're reading from class seven, right? Well, I guess I don't even have to introduce myself, but mind if I ask what you're wandering around here for? I'm looking for something. That's decryptive. Should I help him find whatever it is he's looking for? Uh, yeah, it's a quest. Here, I'll give you a hand. You mean it? Yeah, I can't just sit back and watch while a fellow student needs help. So what are you looking for? 
Stickers. What? Like with drawings and writing on them? Yes, they're my precious treasures. You'll spot them right away since they're all round and shiny. Round and shiny, got it. Do you remember when and where you dropped them by any chance? I, I do. I was up on the rooftop there watching the light of the sunset dance off my stickers and then suddenly a big gust of wind blew them right out of my hands. Three stickers lost just like that. Staring at stickers on a rooftop. I guess everybody needs a hobby. It's possible that the wind carried them pretty far away and if it took them up from the roof. Do you have an idea where they could have landed? Nope. Yeah, the wind came from the south when I was up there, so one flew off towards the academy field. The other two went east and northeast of the main building, respectively. Even though I saw where they went, I haven't been able to find them. It's hard to cover all that ground. I'll start searching right away. Right, thanks. Does it show them on the... It does not look like it's going to show them, so I have to go scour the fields. So, from the main building, east and northeast is what he said. So that would be east and northeast. Oh boy, this is going to be irritating. Uh, I guess I'll start with the field. Alright, look at everything. Looking for the... Oh, look at that. Ha-ha! Round and shiny, just like he said. It's pretty amazing that the wind took it all this way, though. Monk's sticker. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice it at first, but this says Aben time on it. So does that mean this woman here is supposed to be Misty? Pretty cute. Guess that doesn't matter right now. Two more to find, and the sooner the better. All right, so field, and then east and northeast. Maybe he said west and northwest. They wouldn't end up outside the town, would they? Or outside the school grounds. That would be stupid if they ended up outside the school grounds. Man, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Go that way, can't go that way. Oh! This looks like the sticker I found before. It's probably one of the ones he lost, Monk Sticker. It's another misty one. Okay, and we are currently. Oh! East and northeast based on this side. So the other one's gotta be by the old schoolhouse then. I hope. Ah, there it is. Okay. Kind of nice I flew all the way over here. Monk sticker. I've got all three. I should take them back to Monk. Alright, Monk. Got your damn stickers. That schoolhouse creeps me out, though. Oof. Okay. That was easy enough. You're telling me you found all three of them? I'll let you be the judge of that. Perfect, exactly what I was looking for. And in pristine condition. Thank adios for that. I was really sweating for a minute there. I might thought I might have to give up my rightful place as a true Misty fan. I was wondering why you'd carry Aben time stickers, but your zeal for Misty answers that. Oh, so you're a devoted listener too? Give me a sticker. It's always nice to meet another fan. Perhaps the two of us have more in common than I first thought. Maybe so. So one fan, where do they sell those stickers? I wouldn't mind having one for myself. Hehehehe. <laughs> Don't be silly, Nareen. You think you could buy these stickers at any old shop? Oh no. No, no, no. Maybe you need to take a closer look. Monk uncomfortably pressured Reen in taking a closer look at his stickers. On the front side of each picture, there's a signature and a number. Is that Misty's signature? You bet it is. 
You only can get one if your submission is used on the show. It's a prestigious honor reserved only for true fans like me. See that number on the sticker there? That's the serial number of the postcard I sent the selected submission in on. That's really something. I had no idea how it all worked. Are you surprised? Oh, I just bet you're surprised. Since, since I'm sure you'll ask, yes, I am Passion Boy. I hear that alias all the time on the show. Isn't it supposed to be pretty hard to get a submission read on the show? I can only imagine how much competition you have. It's, not, it's no easy feat, but it doesn't hurt that I always have Class 7's various activities on hand to use as choice material when I need it. In fact, I should probably be thanking you for that in addition to returning my stickers, so thank you. You're welcome, I think. Creeper. I can tell you're uncomfortable, don't worry. I exaggerate things and mix in some fiction here and there. Nobody will have any idea that you're based on all, on all of you, not even you knew. Good point. I'm not really sure how to feel about all of this. Back to the stickers, though. You were a real lifesaver. Take this as a sign of my appreciation. Shh, give me a sticker, bro. Well then, Reen, I'll be expecting great things and juicy stories out of you in the future. Sure. Sticky situation. I should go meet up with Misty and start a sticky situation. <laughs> Alright, let's... Go to the second floor and see if there's anything that I can do here. Any peeps to talk to? Actually, let's go to the... Anybody up here? There is somebody. There's somebody. Oh, it's Caddy, Caddy Wumpus. Fresh milk for you, Caddy Wumpus. Yeah, you love me now. Yep, I'm gonna keep feeding you milk. I'm gonna have to buy more milk though. I don't know if I have any more. Alright, somebody over here. Who's this? Most of the students have already gone home. Makes patrolling feel a little lonely this time of day. Cool. On the bright side, there isn't anything serious going on either. That first year, surprisingly interesting artistic sensibilities. Gaius Wurzel, was it his name might just be worth remembering. How many months has Gaius been in your club now? What the hell did he paint? There's nothing there. Unless you have to be like some kind of painting whist to see it, but I see nothing. Man, they all painted the same thing. And she sculpted a horse, of course. And the janitor's all the way down there. He booked it. He's like, dude, I ain't got time for this. I ain't time. Like, I will past you. Too fast for you. I right, see. So that's it for this floor. Oh, that's where I was. First floor. Oh my God! There's so many people here. What? I don't want to buy peppers. Peppers are the worst. I really have to. Oh, get over it. This is an executive order straight from your sister, so you better buy them. You want me to buy peppers? My younger brother decided to stop by, despite the fact that I've told him time and time again not to bother at me or workplace. Don't apologize. He's a little brother. You gotta spend some time with your little bro-ham. A little bit of spare time, so I decided to use it to share a cup of tea with the principal. He mentioned that he wants to explore the old schoolhouse for himself if he ever finds the time. That man is just as energetic as ever, though I did tell him that he might want to start taking his age into account. I think she's got a thing for the principal. Two old people. Uncle Makarov said that he has something to talk to me about. He's so hopeless. Seriously, I can't get five minutes of post midterm relaxation before he comes crying to me for help. Much as I might like to, it's against the rules to give credits to students who fail. Should that have to come to pass, I prepared some material for retest and supplementary lessons. Fortunately for me, everyone passed their art-related exams. What a relief. Figured Mint would do well in Orbital Science. She's, she's from Roar, and her dad's a Reinford engineer. She didn't let me down either. She got every question right. Only problem is she put them all in the wrong section. <laughs> she's so stupid. The upper class always scores the highest on their examinations, and class one is always at the top of the top with the highest average of all. But that should come as no surprise. The exemplary ladies and gentlemen of the nobility would never lose to commoners. Cough, my remarks are certainly not biased on my role as class one's homeroom teacher. I don't like you, Vice Principal Heinrich. 
the upper class students are simply superior. That is not prejudice, but merely an objective fact. God, I hope Emma like trashes all of you freaking losers. <gasps> uh oh, another secret quest. It is. Someone gave it to me. Why do you ask? Perfect. Simply perfect. I just began conducting some food-related research, you see. And it just so happens that I've been on the lookout for someone who could assist me. Oh, boy. Another one. I did indeed. It's related to geography, actually. I'm in the midst of gathering a variety of, well, perhaps we should call them peculiar dishes. Dare I ask why? All over the world, every dish people cook has a deep history. I'm interested in the history behind the cuisine that we might see as bizarre or unappetizing, but it's no fun to just read about food. I want to sample the dishes as I research their history and purpose. A unique field of study. Oh, please, there's no need for flattery, Reen. Very well, consider this a standing order. Come straight to me if you happen to stumble onto any new peculiar dishes. I look forward to what sort of dishes you'll bring my way. I didn't give me a chance to say, oh well, might as well help him out. All it could hurt is his stomach. Do I have anything for him? Nothing? Okay. Do you want, like, warrior dishes? Now that those pesky exams are out of the way, what say you and I go grab a few drinks? No, no, I couldn't possibly. I'm afraid I still have a mountain of work to finish. Why not climb that mountain after a few drinks with your good pal Thomas? Besides, this is for the good of our students. Getting to know each other will allow us to coordinate our lessons. Wait, did I go in? I did. Principal! Let me express my thanks for taking the time to investigate the old schoolhouse. Your theory is rather interesting, too. It may be wise to assume that there really is a reason behind the building's nature. If the building's structure changes once per month, perhaps the truth will reveal itself at some point in the future. I look forward to seeing what else you uncover. Me, too. Wait, there's something in there? I saw sparkles. <gasps> sparkles! There's a book about Lionheart medals here. Ooh. The four great Lionheart medals are awarded to students of Thor's Military Academy with outstanding achievements in a specified area. Each medal is awarded by a designated instructor who selects a deserving student after a period of observation and judgment. Sorry, I was checking out the recording time. Information on each individual medal and the instructor's task with issuing them can be found later in this book. The Medal of Friendship, awarded to those who earn the respect and trust of the Academy at large, awarded by Instructor Mary. The Medal of Compassion, awarded to those who devote themselves to helping others on campus and off, awarded by Instructor Beatrix. The Medal of Valor, awarded to those who set an example through hard-earned combat experience, awarded by Instructor Makarov. Heroism. Awarded only to those who have received all three of the aforementioned medals and demonstrated outstanding ability in all aspects of their life at the Academy, awarded by Principal Van Dyke. Nothing. That's cool. Well, I want all the medals. Hook me up, bro. All right. I did a chit chat with everybody there. I did the outside. Let's go to engineering. What are you guys doing here? Made some modification to the core components. Now it runs smoother and goes faster. Your feedback on the test run was really helpful, so thanks for that. Are you kidding? I should be thanking you for the chance to do something so incredible. I almost feel like I'm still on it and the wind is rushing past me. Now you see why Angie's so enamored with the thing. If anything else pops up, I'll come straight to you. I'm surprised that George can make that bike even more powerful. Angie takes me out on it all the time, so I have to admit I'm excited to feel the difference, but I bet she'll be really excited to try it out too. George looks like he's on fire today. I guess he's feeling good about the modifications he's going to be making to the Orwell bike. I bet this is going to be worth it. Oh, I think so too. All right. Gymnasium. Nope. Oh, someone in the pool. I'm struggling to get a grip on ease my breathing technique. I'm not going to let some silly little thing like breathing stop me, though. I don't want Laura's efforts to be in vain. Oh, she's watching. You're still here practicing this late? I'm sorry. This is all due to my underwhelming instruction, isn't it? Laura. Oh, Laureen. I apologize, but I'd like some time alone to think right now. Could you leave me be? Sure thing. Dang. She's like, leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to you. 
Oh, what's going on in here? What the hell was that, Patrick? What, you think it's cool to mess with Alan like that? It would have been boring to let the match end so quickly, would it not? This way, I turned a foregone conclusion into something entertaining for both myself and the audience. I want to beat his face in, like hell you did. Patrick was toying with him the whole damn time. That match was a complete disgrace to the art. I guess I'm going to have to beat his ass down after all. Yeah, I want, I want to be... Let me get in on that. Right, right, calm down. Though I have to admit it, I'm not too keen on the way you handle that match myself. I hope you're prepared for what will happen if I ever catch you doing that again. What are these waves of terror coursing through my entire body? Yeah, that's that's me about to beat your ass. Alright, alright. I already talked to them, I talked to him, I talked to... I did not talk to her, but... Oh, no, I've already used my stuff. But I'll still go there to see what happens. I don't need to talk to you. Hey, there she is. Hey, Emma. What's up? What you studying? I was doing research for the literature club, so I decided to take the opportunity to check my answers from our midterm. So I'll thinking about reviewing the interior for our upcoming glasses, too. You dominate the exam scoreboards for a reason. I should probably take a page from your book and start studying harder. And of course, I'll be cheering you on. Remember, I'm always here to help if you have any questions. Alright. I think that's everybody. Yeah. To the cafe and in. Hey, what you ladies up to? Hey, Reen. Oh, this is a quest? Thanks for your help this afternoon. I wouldn't have expected to find a two of you together like this. Well, we've known each other since before. Either of us were students here. Reinford's corporate headquarters is in Ruhr which, as you know, is in the Norsha province, which my family governs. I used to work part-time at a Reinford-related company, so I met Alyssa through that. That makes sense. Except for the part where the daughter of a marquee was working as a part-timer. Things like that are what make Angelica so special. Oh, Alyssa, there's no need to shower me with praise. Oh, don't worry, I was doing just the opposite. You can really tell how well these two get along. We've known each other for a long time now, come to think of it. I really happen to have the chance to spend some time with you again. Likewise. But why limit ourselves to time to get in public? We could share some more private experiences. Oh man, I'd like to join in on that. I'd be more than happy to show you a whole new world if you were to become mine. <laughs> I like my current world just fine, thanks. What happened to all these second years? Why are they all so weird? This is fantastic. She's all about the money, isn't she? So I better get a long home now. My dad's company is Kleisten Company. It's very possible you've heard of it. I'm a department head there. Get home and check in on how the sales department is doing. Yes, I got a wee bonus with my payday. This is pretty good for one day of work, too. You cannot beat getting paid. I've seen the same lady making her way to the radio station over and over lately. She's rather tall with long hair and a demeanor that makes me think she's from Heimdaller. She usually walks straight from the train. Maybe she works there. Yeah, it's probably Misty. Oh, it's not every day you get daughters from both the Reinford and Rogner families eating at your cafe. So, or so I'd say if I weren't in Trista. You can see celebrities everywhere. In fact, we even had a member of the Imperial family enrolled at Thor's a few years back. And I was lucky enough to chat with them a few times. Please hold your applause. <laughs> what you got? Crispy pizza and roasted coffee. Hey, it's the twins. I'm so excited for our midterm results. What is happening to whoever loses anyway? Oh, yeah, still haven't decided yet. Oh, I know. Whoever loses has to wear a bikini for our swimming lessons. Seriously? Oh, wow. I hope they both lose. I saw a really sexy bikini while I was in the boutique the other day. All the guys are going to love getting an eyeful of Linda. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Gonna run into Misty? Misty! You guys are not here. Okay. Pawn shop. What are you looking for, Fee? Stuff. This is the only place I can get most of it. Well, this place does have a bunch of odd stuff on sale. Is that where you get your explosives? Trade secret. Silly. 
The Red Constellation is on the move. What could they be after at a time like this? The Red Constellation? What are they teaching kids at the military academies these days? You must have at least heard of them. One of the strongest Jaeger corps on the continent. Bunch of crazy warmongers. Ringing any bells yet? The only corps that even comes close on this side of Zumari is Zephyr, and they just had a big old battle last year. They've been laying low for a while. But I guess all good things have to come to an end. I didn't know any of this, but how does it know so much? Because she's probably a part of Zephyr. Ah, uh, I think that's everybody. I've explored all there is to explore, and I bet you if by going to the the dormitory will end the night in the day. Yep, that's what it says. So it's probably going to be lots of story exposition, and that's what we're going to see in the next episode of RPG Corner. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to help support the channel. You can subscribe there in the lower right corner of your screen by clicking on the logo. See you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.